Hello and welcome to episode 5 of this self-hosting series. Today we're going to be going over paperless. Paperless NG to be specific. And what is paperless? Well, paperless is a digital document manager. What I'm going to do today is show you how it works first and then we will go through installing it. Um, so if we click on the one that I am using, we are graded with the dashboard here. And you can see I have 12 total documents. I haven't been using it very long. Um, but we can click on documents and take a look at some of them. Oh, I uh, was searching for uh, windage to test out the search on this. So I'm going to reset filter and it's going to show me all the documents that I have in here. So you can see I have uh, some medical IDs, medical cards for insurance. I have some manuals in here, some receipts. Uh, so let's take a look at like this battery receipt here. So that was a battery for one of my motorcycles, which I wanted to keep because there is a warranty on it. And let's take a look at a keyboard manual. So this is, uh, I took a picture of this receipt with my phone. And this one was a PDF file. So you can also upload PDF manuals to it and it will keep those. And the other thing, that it does is when I first logged in here you could see I was searching so you can search uh, for any word that's in one of these documents and it will find it so before where I was looking for windage that brings up the manual for my rifle scope you can see it highlights windage 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 wherever there is uh, windage in here it's going to find it and highlight it as as long as your scan is clear enough for the OCR uh, software to work um, so if I click on edit this is where you're able to edit the title you can put a serial number so like say uh, you buy a drill from Home Depot and it has a serial number you could archive that along with the manual for it um, date created correspondent document type manuals receipts are the two that i have right now and then if you just wanted to add another one you could just click that plus symbol same for tags here you can just add tags now content this is what the ocr these are the words that the ocr software has pulled from the document so you can see this is all this is what it's searching if you type in keyword it's searching all the text that for all the documents that you have here so we'll close that reset the filter So yeah, that's basically it. And you can also click download. That'll give you, well, it doesn't pop up a download dialog, but it gives you a link to the full file here. It looks like you could just go save page as, and then yeah, it's saving as a PDF there. And the other thing is, is there is a Android app for it. Play.google.com. You just search for paperless. Here it is. And so you can just open up that app, click add document. It'll open up a scanner that you can take picture of your receipt or whatever document you want. And it will automatically upload it to the uh, paperless server that you have. The, um, other use for the app is viewing the documents. So 
So yeah, it has a very nice user interface. It's pretty fast. Again, this is running on a single board computer, a Rack Pro 64, and it seems pretty snappy. There's all different kinds of ways to sort and search what you're looking for um, by tag, by document type, by date created, by date added. Up here you can go to list, um, icon view. What is this one? Okay, this one gives you some information. Okay, so let's see. That's pretty much it. Uh, that's how it works. It's really nice. Like I said, you want to go from having a filing cabinet stuffed full of paper documents that you are not able to query or search in any way to this. This is much more convenient. It has the additional option or feature of being able to query it. It's really nice. Now, as always, we go to awesome self-host. Oh, not the sysadmin one. Awesome self-hosted list. And there are other options available for uh, digital document management. TD is one that I've used in the past. It's really lightweight and it has pretty good user interface as well. Although I do like paperless NGs a little bit better. And the other thing that I like paperless NG over TD now is the app. The app is uh, makes it very easy to add documents to it from your phone. Um, and you don't have to use the app to scan the document because some apps like Microsoft the Lens actually have better like scanning and cropping ability than the paperless NG app. So you can scan it with Microsoft Lens and then share it to the paperless app and it will add it to the server. Heard uh, Paper Merge is another one that seems fairly popular. And then if you need like a full blown solution, my EDMS is like a full solution for it. I haven't used it, so I can't even tell you all the features and options it has available to it, but it's a pretty heavy software package from my understanding. All right, well, we are going to install paperless ng. Paperless ng is a fork of paperless and the biggest thing is it has a nicer user interface. There's some other differences here that you could read through, the, but the biggest one for me is it looks much nicer than the original paperless. All right, let's find how do we install this. How it works, features, getting started, documentation. So there's a few options you can install using downloading this bash script and piping it into bash. Now, that's definitely not your first option that you're going to want to use. You know, I, I trust this, but you can read through the bash script, obviously, and just copy this, see what it's doing. But generally, you don't want to just pipe scripts into Bash from the internet. So we are going to move on and install Paperless from Docker Hub. We're going to do it manually, just so we can go step by step. So the first thing is saying here is to make a directory to put our compose file in. So we're going to need to SSH into our server. And previously we set up a folder to kind of put all of our Docker uh, config files in. So we had set up WireGuard before, now we're going to make a folder for paperless. 
CD into it. And then we're going to download this YAML file here. And it's depending on what database we're going to use, the, the depends which one of these we're going to download. I'm going to do the SQLite. Download that. Need to rename it. All right, and then we also need the environment variable file here. All right, so we have those two files. Now let's take a look in them, see what we need to edit. Uh, I think this downloaded the page, unfortunately. Yep. Yeah. All right. So we need to get the raw links for these. We'll delete what we had there before and re-download these. And now we will see what we need to edit in here. Here's the Docker Compose file, and we're going to change the port 8600. You don't need to do this. A lot of services, like 8000, though, so we're going to run into a conflict in the future. So I'm just going to preemptively change that to 8600. And. The rest of this we do not need to change so we will exit save and then we will edit the this file where it gives you all the variables so we need to set that and we can set the password now you can set to whatever you want your time zone and the language. We'll save that. And then our next step should be a Docker Compose poll and then Docker Compose up. So we'll do that. All right, so that is done. Then we'll do an up dash detach. All right, so our server should be up and running or it's close to being up and running. Let's take a look. 208 and our port number and it's thinking about working there it is so we have no documents but it is running here i'm a little curious as to
Okay, so um, I, I set this up in previously to record in this just to make sure that I knew what was how it was going to go for the video. Now um, it must be there must be a directory that's saving a config uh, with the user that I created because this should not have just instantly logged me in here. So let me take a look and see. where that directory might be user all right so these are the directories that it's using so the data and media export and consume of this directory All right, let me pause this and see if we can start that over. All right, so I managed to delete the volumes, the pre-existing volumes that I had for paperless. And so when you first install it, you'll be greeted with this and you'll have no way to log in. So you'll need to follow along with the rest of the uh, paperless documentation here, which is to create a new username and to do that, you just run this command here. And this will run a script that creates a new user. And make sure to do it as sudo. And here we pick our username, email, password, and this should be it. Now we should be able to log into our paperless service with that username and password. And here we are, back to our clean, newly installed paperless dashboard. So yeah, that is it for this video. If you have any questions or comments about running or installing paperless, just feel free to tippy tack down below. Um, I thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.